G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we are going to learn how to make this easy crochet loofah. There is a ribbon pattern located on my website and I'll put the link for you in the description box below. So let's get started on the lesson. For my supplies I will be using some cotton yarn. This project does work best with cotton. You could try with acrylic but let me know how you go if you do use acrylic. So this is clear as cotton and this is from Maker. You can find this yarn available on the maker.store website um, and say hello to Katie while you're there. This is colour number 15. It is a cream colour. It is an 8 ply or a DK yarn which is also a number 3 weight yarn. 100% cotton recommends a 4mm crochet hook or a knitting needle but I will be using two strands at once two strands at once for this project so that's why I have two balls so for your project we are going to need a crochet hook to go with our yarn I have chosen a five millimeter crochet hook that is also equivalent to a H size there will be a link below in the description box go down there and click on more and that will show you where you can buy this yarn it is a Australian website so go and check it out absolutely love Katie's yarn I I've got quite a bit of it now. So this is one of her ranges called Clear as Cotton. So grabbing your yarn we are going to make a slip knot and you can do that any way that you like and this is a great project of practice using two strands at once. So we're going to make a chain to put all of our stitches into so I would recommend doing about six to eight um, chain stitches one two three four five six seven eight and then make a little circle so we don't want it to be too tight we do want there to be a circle in the middle depending on what type of yarn you're using if you're using a worsted weight which is equivalent to a uh, a template or around about an aran weight uh, you just want a little circle like that you may need less chains than I have but I have one two three four five six seven eight chains all together so we're going to join that so we're going to go to the first chain we're going to put our crochet hook in there and then we're going to yarn over and pull through so now we're going to work a, another lot of chains and this is going to be the handle if you want to hang this up so it's just going to have an extra long chain so you can hang it up in the shower if you don't want to hang it up in the shower don't worry about doing this next bit um, it's totally fine you can leave it out if you like so I'm going to make a chain until I think it's long enough for a handle and I have just realized that my phone is not on silent you may have just heard that that noise I'm not counting I'm just making a chain so you want it a little bit longer than you think you need it because don't forget the shower puff shower exfoliator I don't know what you call it um, it's going to be quite bulky so you want to make a chain so if you made the chain that long some of the bulk is going to be up here so that could probably work so that chain is about eight inches long which is about I cannot convert that in my head right at the second well, that's a pretty good guess it's about seven and a half inches long which is uh, 18 centimeters 19 centimeters oops not even showing you 19 centimeters long seven and a half inches ish and then we're going to join that back down to our, our circle here so that it can become the handle. Those ends are just getting in my way and annoying me. <laughs> so you can uh, come down here and just join in that same stitch there. So just put your crochet hook in that stitch and join that together. 
won't know this because the magic of YouTube you won't know. Um, I haven't crocheted for quite a long time. And this is my first crochet video in about six months. So I am all sorts of thumbs today. <laughs> so we've got two loops, one real big one which is a handle and then a smaller one that's over here. And what we're going to do is we are going to do a chain one and we're going to work single crochet stitches into this loop, so into the middle. What we do is we put our crochet hook into the middle of the loop, out the other side, out the back, and then work our single crochet. So again, in through the loop. I've just got my finger in there to hold it open. Pull through and work a single crochet. We are going to put as many single crochets as we can into this circle or into the loop. It's not really a loop, it's a circle. And we're going to single crochet as many as we can. Now I'm just going to speed ahead here so I can show you what we need to do. So you'll crochet around and you'll get to the beginning where we started and you'll think, oh, I've put enough single crochets in there. But you haven't because we need lots and lots and lots. So you could say I've crocheted pretty much all the way around, apart from that part there. Crocheted all the way around. But we want to put as many as we can in. So what we're going to do is grab hold of the handle, so the big loop like that. We're going to grab hold of that and hold on to the chain. And then we're going to grab our crochet and we're going to pull in opposite directions. And what happens is all your stitches will bunch up. Now see how much we've got left when we thought we had it full. So we're just going to single crochet again into the circle. And we're going to keep repeating that until we can't fit any more single crochets into, into the circle. It doesn't matter on your tension, this is practicing your stitches. So see how I've pulled that around again, I've still got more room to fit around the circle. So we're going to go as far as we can. Again, we're going to hold on to the big loop and we're going to pull the crochet in the opposite direction. Still, still room. Oops. Single crochet. Can still fit a couple more in. You're going to fit as many as you can go. So there's no counting, you'll just fit as many as you can fit in there. Looks like a mini scrunchie. I can still fit another one or two in there. It gets a little bit tricky right near the end because you are squashing them in. But you can see there I've got all those single crochets stuffed in there. All right, so we're going to put the big loop to the back. We're just going to put that to the back. And then we're going to join to our first single crochet, which is over here. You may need to just jam your hook in there. Where are you, single crochet? There we go. <laughs> And we're going to join. So that was our first stitch that we're going to practice. And again, it doesn't matter in tension if this is one of your first projects because no one is even going to see that first round. So it won't matter at all. So yay! We have our first rounds complete. We're going to start our second row and we're going to work two chains or chain two. And we are going to work two half double crochets into the same stitch. You'll see a stitch there. So we're going to work two double crochets. So we yarn over, go through, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Yarn over, go into the stitch, 
yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So our chain two counts as our first stitch, so one, two, three, all into that same stitch. Into the next stitch, we're going to work three half double crochets. three in that stitch and three half double crochets in the next stitch and every stitch around what am I doing I haven't crocheted for so long it's crazy all right in pull up there we go I'm sitting at a really awkward angle too for crochet um, it's not how you would sit normally, just on your couch or in a chair. So yeah. So we're going to repeat this all the way around, putting three half double crochets in the same stitch. And I'll meet you at the end when we are ready to join. Pause the video and I'll see you there. We are at the end of our row and we are ready to join. We can join into the top of the chain three there. So we're just going to grab those loops and we're going to yarn over and pull through. If you saw me on the Facebook Live, I was, I was filming this tutorial whilst I was chatting, then this is the tutorial that you're watching. So we've got to the end of that round and we have our three stitches in each stitch. So now we are going to chain three because we are going to work a double crochet. So we want to chain up three and we're going to yarn over and go into the same stitch which is just there. And we are going to work two double crochet. And that counts as three stitches into the same one because the chain three counted as our first stitch. So we have our three in there. And in each stitch around, we are going to work three double crochets. So great pattern for practicing your double crochets. And if you are not a beginner, then this is going to work up so quick. So you can see I have my three stitches in there. So again, in the next stitch, work three double crochets. So continue doing that all the way around and I will meet you when we are ready to join. Pause the video and I'll see you there. I am at the end of my round and I'm going to join into the top of the chain three. And we have one more round to go. Now if you think that your shower scrubby, shower lo loofer, whatever you call these things. I'm sure I'll work it out by the time I post the video. <laughs> If, you, if yours is big enough, then you can stop now and then you will just pull that through, cut your yarn. Sorry, cut your yarn, then pull that through and sew in your ends. But I'm going to do one more round because I just feel like it's just not quite big enough and I feel like it needs another round. So we are going to make a chain three. And then we're going to double crochet in every stitch around. So no increasing anymore. Just one double crochet in each stitch. And that's just going to give it some more volume and make the loofer. Is it loofer? I think that might be the word. Going to make it just a little bit bigger, give it some more volume, and it's going to look fantastic. This cotton is so lovely and soft. Like I said, if you want to grab this yarn for yourself, there is a link in the description box of this video, which is down below. If you click the more, um, it'll have more or a couple of dots or something. Just click that and it'll open up the description. So one double crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet you when we are ready to join. Pause the video and I'll see you there. 
when we get to the end of the round we are just going to join like we have before on the what's going on here on the top of the chain three make sure you get all the loops I've got all the loops I think I'm missing one no nope, I've got all my loops and then we're just going to pull through and slip stitch and we're going to find our scissors and we're going to cut off our yarn I'm going to do probably about four inches or so and then I'm going to finish off See if I can thread both at once. Ooh, ooh. Can I get them? <laughs> Come on. So let me know what colour you've made in the in the comments below I'd love to know what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it down to the row below down here get all the way down in there And then thread it through underneath the stitches of this row. So I've got through quite a few stitches there. I can't find my regular regular yarn needle. This is pointy sharp one, so I have to be careful what I'm doing. And then I'm going to snip that off. Actually, I might just go back through some of those stitches and then snip that off so that will be more secure there we go that's all done just pull up on that so it's not so squashed there we go oh my gosh i love it Love it. It has turned out so good. Yes, I'm wearing a jumper because I'm cold. It's turned out fantastic. I think I'm seeing my friend tomorrow that I've made this for. So very exciting. I'm going to give it to her straight away. And this project will go perfect with the face scrubbies if you haven't seen that video i will leave it on the screen now thank you so much for watching uh, until next time happy crochet